हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू मोर अबाउट मोनोसैकराइड्स सो मोनोसैकराइड्स वी लर्न सो मच अबाउट देम इट इज अ बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ मोनोसैकराइड दैट अ मोनोसैकराइड विल हैव अ सिमेट्रिक कार्बन आई विल बी स्टडीइंग अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड वी विल स्टडी द प्रॉपर्टी इन डेप्थ ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट स्टार्ट monosaccharides have a symmetric carbon what does a symmetric carbon mean carbon has four valencies as we all know so these are the four valencies of my carbon here i have some other functional group here i have some other functional group here i have some other functional group and here i have some other functional group this makes this carbon atom asymmetric because everywhere we have different groups okay this asymmetric carbon is also known as chiral carbon atom okay now for example this is my carbon atom so this is symmetric carbon atom having a asymmetric carbon is known as chirality okay so monosaccharides have or symmetric carbon let me give you an, an example with respect to a monosaccharide now we have studied a molecule called glyceraldehyde right what is this glyceraldehyde it is aldo triose three carbon atom having an aldehyde group is known as glyceraldehyde so it is aldo triose let me draw the structure for you three carbon this is my glyceryl aldehyde correct which one is my chiral carbon i have three carbons which one is the chiral carbon so let's make this molecule a little more compact as to c o h h c h o i've joined this together and i'll join this together so every valency of this carbon is different right thus th this was my second carbon so in a glyceraldehyde molecule the c2 carbon is a chiral carbon understood so we have all four valencies different in c2 molecule if we consider the c3 molecule this entire part is one valency one group but we have two h on adjacent side so this doesn't become asymmetric right if i consider c1 carbon two valencies of this carbon is attached to oxygen so that won't be a asymmetric carbon now there is an exception as to chirality in terms of monosaccharide what is this exception we studied a molecule called dihydroxy acetone mm it is a keto triose right let me draw the structure for you c c c since it is ketose 
second carbon will have a ketone group right so if i consider this carbon it has these two common groups right so this becomes symmetric thus this is the only mon monosaccharide which is an exception to chirality okay so now we have studied about a symmetric carbon and what is a chiral carbon there is a formula for that glycer aldehyde has one asymmetric carbon right it has one symmetric carbon so n is equal to 2 raised to n n is my number of chiral carbons Two n is the number of stereoisomers. You might be wondering now, what is the term called stereoisomers? Stereoisomers, as in, when you place this molecule in front of a mirror. You'll have an exact mirror image of this molecule, right? CH two OH will remain same. CHO will remain same. Just the OH group and the H will interchange their positions. So. A molecule of glyceraldehyde has two stereoisomers. Okay, one is this, one is this. So, two. In case of this molecule, I'm applying this formula. It has one chiral carbon. And how many? Two raised to n, as in it has two stereoisomers. So, number of chiral carbons. Is equal to two raised to n stereoisomers. Now, you cannot just leave these isomers just like that. You have to name them. If my OH molecule is on the right side, it is known as D isomer. If it is on the left side, left L isomer. The placement of the OH with respect to the reference chi uh, carbon atom gives you D isomer or the L isomer. That's it about the monosaccharide having a asymmetric carbon atom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.